Diddy probably paid for it. Diddy paid for the drug test. Diddy made the call. Diddy, Diddy. Come on now. Diddy did it. Diddy fucking did it, bro. It's all good, bro. Fuck that dude. Fuck that man. Fuck Diddy. Raleigh Romero's recent comments on social media have stirred up controversy in the boxing world, particularly regarding the ongoing saga involving Ryan Garcia's positive tests following his fight against Devin Haney. Romero, known for his outspoken nature, did not mince words in expressing his views on the matter. In his scathing remarks, Romero slammed Garcia for using banned substances during his bout with Haney, labeling it as a blatant violation of the sport's integrity. By publicly condemning Garcia's alleged actions, Romero has sparked a heated debate among fans and fellow fighters alike. The accusations leveled by Romero add another layer of complexity to an already contentious situation. With Garcia's reputation on the line and the integrity of professional boxing called into question, Romero's outspoken condemnation has further fueled speculation and debate within the boxing community. What's up, everybody? Uh... I came on here to address this <clears throat> bull fucking shit claim that I cheated. Lies. Yeah. Everybody knows that I don't cheat. Um, mm -mm. What can I say? You know, uh, why didn't they come out with this before? You know, the fight. If they found it before, why would they let me step into the ring right. as a cheater and then come out with a victory and then they post this? You know, again, um, these are people that um, are trying to attack me for whatever reason, but um, no weapon against me shall prosper. Okay. I've never taken a steroid in my life. I don't even know where to get steroids. At the end of the it all began when Vada recently informed all involved parties that Ryan Garcia was found to have traces of the performance enhancing substance Osterine in his system on both the day before and the day of his surprising victory against Devin Haney last month. This revelation adds a contentious layer to his recent triumph. Garcia has a window of 10 days to officially request testing on his B sample. The initial screening of Garcia's A sample revealed the presence of 19 norandrosterone, but its confirmation awaits further examination in the lab. However, Garcia said, Everybody knows that I don't cheat. Never taken a steroid. I don't even know where to get steroids. I barely take supplements. Big lies, I beat his ass. Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions said in a statement that it is working with Garcia's team to determine how this finding came to be. Um, I barely, you know, take uh, supplements. Um, they're saying it's coming from the ashwagandha. That's fucking retarded, so. At the end lies. Of the day, I, big lies, I beat his ass, fuck out of here. Everybody yes. go to Warwick tonight, it's lit. And I was Let's with get this it. guy every Woo! single day. Yeah, I never, ever saw fuck him. the Haney! At 25 years old, Garcia sent Haney to the mat thrice, securing a majority decision victory. However, this outcome hangs in uncertainty pending the B-sample verdict. A reversal looms unless it proves to be an unusual negative result. We learned about this situation not too long ago, and it's unfortunate Ryan cheated and disrespected both the fans and the sport of boxing by fighting dirty and breaking positive not once, but twice, Haney said in a statement to ESPN. Garcia's record stood at 25 wins and one loss, with an impressive 20 knockouts. However, his journey to the WBC 140-pound title fight hit a snag when he failed to make weight, tipping the scales at 143.2 pounds. This misstep cost Garcia a hefty sum of over $600,000 paid to his opponent Haney. Moreover, Garcia's failure to meet the weight requirement rendered him ineligible to claim the title. Despite this setback, his unexpected victory propelled him to the number two spot in ESPN's junior welterweight rankings. Despite his loss, Haney, representing Las Vegas in the ring, maintained his title as the junior welterweight champion. However, his defeat dropped him to the fourth spot in ESPN's 140-pound rankings, and he relinquished his pound-for-pound -pound recognition, slipping from his previous sixth-place ranking by ESPN prior to the bout. Talking about the latest accusation, Haney said, Ryan owes the fans an apology, and by his recent tweet, he still thinks this is a joke. We put our lives on the line to entertain people for a living. You don't play boxing. This puts the fight in a completely different light. 
Despite the disadvantage, I still fought on my shield and got back up. People die in this sport. This isn't a joking matter. Osterine stands as a distinctive androgen receptor modulator, binding to proteins within the body to stimulate muscle growth efficiently. Its application extends to boosting athletes' performance by fostering muscle gain, accelerating fat loss, and bolstering stamina and recovery capacity. It has been prohibited by the World Anti-Doping Agency since 2008, and in 2022, WADA classified it as an anabolic agent. Osterine's presence in the boxing arena isn't unprecedented. Back in 2016, during a heated match between Lucian Butte and Badu Jack for the WBC super middleweight title, Butte's test revealed traces of the substance. Consequently, the match outcome shifted dramatically, with Jack being declared the winner by disqualification. Following his sixth round TKO loss to Kell Brook in 2022, Amir Khan tested positive for Osterine, and UK anti-doping imposed a two-year ban on him. Haney, initially a strong minus 900 favorite as per ESPN BT, saw his odds shift to minus 575 following Garcia's failure to make weight. Known for his slick boxing skills and holding the title of former undisputed lightweight champion, Haney had never tasted the canvas prior to this fight. However, Garcia stunned him with lightning quick left hooks in rounds 7, 10, and 11 ultimately securing a surprising victory. Garcia's triumph marked a pivotal moment in his career, ushering in a new chapter of success. Despite not clinching a world title yet, Garcia's influence extends far beyond the ring, with an impressive social media following surpassing 12 million on Instagram alone. While he faced defeat in the past, notably against Gervonta Davis with a seventh round TKO last April, this victory showcases his resilience and potential for greatness. In May of last year, Haney showcased his prowess by triumphing over the esteemed Vasily Lomachenko, securing the retention of his four 135-pound titles. Transitioning to the 140-pound division in December, he marked his debut with an emphatic win over Regis Progress, clinching the WBC junior welterweight title with a flawless performance. Meanwhile, Garcia continuously denied taking a prohibited substance once the report surfaced. He said, Why didn't they come out with this before the fight if they found this before? Why would they let me step into the ring as a cheater, then let me come out with the victory and then they post this? In a separate Instagram Live, which spanned over four minutes, he said, I don't even know what Osterine is. I was on tequila. If tequila's got steroids, I'm guilty. They're out to get me. He then made light of the situation by posting a photo of the herbal supplement Ashwagandha Root to X. My bad, I shouldn't have taken this. Before the bout, the Californian combatant, despite losing a hefty $1.5 million wager to his adversary and missing the weight requirement, managed to rake in an estimated $30 million. Bill, his father, verified that the fight proceeds would be split 55-45, with Garcia taking the larger share. Meanwhile, in a series of scathing social media posts, Raleigh Romero didn't hold back in his criticism of Ryan Garcia's alleged use of banned substances during his fight against Devin Haney. Romero's remarks, which reverberated across the boxing community, added fuel to the already fiery controversy surrounding Garcia's positive tests. Drawing attention to the integrity of the sport, Romero didn't mince words as he lambasted Garcia for what he perceived as a violation of the fundamental principles of fair competition. By openly condemning Garcia's alleged actions, Romero underscored the seriousness of the situation and the implications it carries for the sport of boxing as a whole. Romero's outspoken condemnation of Garcia's alleged substance use didn't go unnoticed, sparking intense debate and discussion among fans, fellow fighters, and pundits alike. His bold stance on the issue highlighted the importance of maintaining transparency and upholding the highest standards of integrity in professional boxing. As the controversy surrounding Garcia's positive tests continues to unfold, Romero's outspoken criticism serves as a stark reminder of the scrutiny and accountability that come with competing at the highest levels of the sport. By speaking out against what he perceives as a breach of trust, 
Romero reaffirmed his commitment to preserving the integrity of boxing and ensuring a level playing field for all competitors. Meanwhile, Eddie Hearn, known for his outspoken nature, didn't shy away from expressing his disdain for the allegations surrounding Ryan Garcia's positive tests. In a no-holds-barred response, Hearn slammed Garcia, denouncing his alleged actions and calling for accountability. Hearn's condemnation of Garcia's alleged substance use was unequivocal, reflecting the seriousness with which he views the issue. As a prominent figure in the boxing world, Hearn's words carried weight, amplifying the intensity of the ongoing controversy surrounding Garcia's positive tests. With his characteristic candor, Hearn emphasized the importance of upholding the integrity of the sport, stressing that there is no place for doping in boxing. By publicly condemning Garcia's alleged transgressions, Hearn underscored the need for transparency and accountability at all levels of professional boxing. But I should sue Javante Davis for defamation. That's what I should do. But honestly, I can't be bothered. Because the guy puts a tweet out and then takes it down again. What's that all about? If you've got something to say, say it. Stand by your words. So you're suggesting that I was involved in Ryan Garcia testing positive with VADA. Do me a favour. I mean, I've had many fighters test positive with VADA, unfortunately. And I've never once gone, oh, someone's out to get me. And there's probably many that are. I don't want Ryan Garcia to test positive. It's terrible for the sport, but he's done it, and now the process begins. In the wake of Garcia's positive tests, Hearn's impassioned remarks added a new dimension to the unfolding controversy, igniting further debate and scrutiny. His vocal stance on the matter signaled a call to action for the boxing community to address the issue head on and ensure that strict measures are in place to prevent doping in the sport. As the fallout from Garcia's positive tests continues to reverberate throughout the boxing world, Hearn's condemnation serves as a stark reminder of the need for vigilance and accountability in the fight against performance-enhancing substances. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.